Flash and News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Clear and unseasonably warm in Tehama County today. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff with us now. Jason, what's going on with this wacky weather? Yeah, it doesn't feel like December at all, does it? We're two weeks away from the beginning of winter. Hardly feels like late fall at all. But we're going to have the wind weakening. It's already starting to weaken around most locations. Temperatures will still be above average tomorrow, but not as warm as they were today in most locations. And a beautiful evening, but when we're losing that wind and we don't have any clouds outside, it'll definitely be cooler tomorrow morning than it was this morning. But gorgeous dusk right there. Let's take a live look outside toward the west between Willows and Orland on this early Monday evening. The temperatures still above average though. Right now it's 51 degrees in Chester. It's 66 degrees in Chico. 69 degrees in Redding, not 85. That's the thermometer malfunction in Red Bluff. 42 degrees in Mount Shasta though. And 65 degrees in Paradise. What an early December day for us. Hardly any clouds outside, but we're going to have some changes coming. A couple small disturbances and a larger one in the long-term forecast for us, but not much cloud cover for us either Tuesday or early Wednesday by Wednesday afternoon, the high clouds do begin to increase as one small disturbance moves in through most of southern Oregon, giving them a chance for some wet weather, but not so much for California. Then late Wednesday into Thursday, a second disturbance also skips right over California. We're going to have a better chance, though, with this larger storm system coming in late Sunday into Monday. It's going to be sweeping through most of southern Oregon, northwestern Nevada, and northern California. It still may be overdone, but it's the best chance that we've had for quite some time for air areas of rain and mountain snow. Looking at the amounts of rain that we're expecting, it still may be a little bit overdone. Nothing in the short term, but by Sunday and Monday, a decent chance for the lower elevations to have upwards of a quarter of an inch, maybe even a third of an inch of rain. And more than that in our mountains, Eureka, upwards of an inch of rain by the time we get to Sunday and Monday. We're going to keep our eyes on that all the way through this coming weekend because it may shift and then we won't have nearly as much rain as it's forecasting right now. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. We'll have a lot more sunshine for the northern mountains overnight lows in the 20s and 30s. Daytime highs, though, look at that for December, 50s and 60s. That's amazing for northeastern California. Lows still kind of chilly, dropping down to mainly the 20s, but the highs, 50s and 60s, but not very much wind. For the ridge tonight, we'll have lows in the 40s, highs tomorrow. Look at that, 60s. In early December, we'll take that, but we'd take rain and snow more than that. And for the valley tonight, it won't be as windy, so it won't be as warm. Lows dropping down to the upper 30s. Highs tomorrow still about 15 degrees warmer than average in the lower 70s. In the Chico area, lows tonight in the upper 30s and lower 40s. The wind will be weakening. We'll have plenty of sunshine tomorrow and daytime highs still way above average. Upper 60s and lower 70s. The next seven days in Chico, we'll have some more breezes Wednesday through Friday. Best chance for some wet weather will be Sunday and Monday, and the highs really drop from the lower 70s tomorrow to the upper 50s and lower 60s this weekend. Not quite as windy as it has been, but we do expect some breezes Wednesday through Friday.